Welcome everyone to Catholic Sunday Scriptures in Context. This is a ministry of the Augustinian Order and St. Paul Parish. Today we are focusing on the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our first reading is from the Book of Wisdom. And the Book of Wisdom is not part of the Jewish or the Protestant Bible because it was written very late, around the year 100 B.C., and even parts of it may have been written while Jesus was still alive. And it was originally in Greek, and to be part of the Hebrew scriptures, it needed to be written originally in Hebrew. The premise of the selection today is that God created everything that God created was good, and it is sin that leads to sickness and death. We would say that only God is perfect, and it is our imperfections that cause us to sin. And the way that God makes up for that uh, gap, you know, that is created because he's not perfect, because he is perfect and we're not, is that uh, he offers us healing, which is the focus of today's gospel. So, so you know, it's by envy of the devil that death entered the world. You know, these are sort of uh, sayings of the Jewish people um, rather than uh, profound theological statements. Our second reading comes from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, which is our continual reading here. And at this point in the letter, Paul is making a, a pitch for generosity because he asked Christians of one community to support other communities in need. And the community he's focusing on here is the community in Jerusalem. And this would be an opportunity for the Gentile Christians in Corinth to help the Jewish Christians in Jerusalem. And it would sort of generate goodwill between those two different branches of the early Christianity. And Paul's contention is one does not need to impoverish oneself in order to help others. Give what is in excess to help those in need. And the last line here of this reading refers to the Jewish people collecting the manna in the desert. You know, they were told not to take too much, but to take what they need. And that's where this line comes from. And he uses Christ as an example. By his poverty, you became rich. And that last line there, whoever had much did not have more, and whoever had little did not have less. Uh, God provided for all their needs. And now Paul calls on the people to provide for each other's needs. And our gospel today is with two stories, each complementing the other. And both stories involve the healing of women who were at the lowest rung of society. And both of them in different ways are impure. One, the woman who has the hemorrhages because the bleeding made her impure. And the child, the young girl, 12, 13 years old, who was considered old enough to marry back then, she... They tell him, they tell Jesus that she has died, and to touch the dead was also to make you unclean. And Jesus goes out of his way to help those in need. You know, they're the two stories here. Men did not touch women who were unclean, nor did they speak to them in public. And so Jesus is breaking a taboo here by addressing this woman with the hemorrhages. In the first story, the powerful man is powerless to help his daughter, and he throws himself at the feet of Jesus. Um, that's not lost on the people who are uh, reading this gospel or hearing this gospel. In turn, Jesus calls each of the ones he healed daughter, uh, and we'll see in the scriptures here. The translation is uh, little girl, but it really can be translated daughter and therefore raises their level of dignity. Um, fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him. That's the Jairus, father. And then the woman afflicted with hemorrhages, uh, the bleeding. Uh, she couldn't stop, so she was uh, ritually unclean. And then, daughter, your faith has saved you. Uh, and then um, you know, this encouragement to the synagogue official, to Jairus, do not be afraid, just have faith. And here, um, you know, the child is not dead, but asleep, Jesus tells him. 
and he puts them all out of the room and he took the child by the hand and said to her Tulitha Ko'um which means you know it, it could be translated daughter here as well and he gave strict orders that no one should know about this which we know is unreasonable because everybody had been in the room thought she was dead and now she's up but it's to keep that messianic secret that you know some scholars believe Jesus wanted people to believe in him not because of the miracles but because of the preaching and the gospel message of love one another and forgiveness please pray for peace in the holy land and in ukraine and if you think this is helpful to someone please pass it on thank you very much